Hey clean freaks and germaphobes, what's up you guys? In this video, I'm going to review the McCullough MC 1375 Canister Steam Cleaner. I've been using this steam cleaner for about three weeks. I'm gonna tell you about what I love about it and what I wish maybe was different or better. I've tried it on all kinds of messes, tested it, experimented with it, and I'm excited to show you what I think. But first, if you're new to Clean Freak and Germaphobe, we love to steam clean, organize, disinfect, so if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. First, let's go over the specs of this machine. The McCullough has five different steam cleaners and this is the second to largest steam cleaner they offer. Its canister can hold 48 ounces of water, which they claim offers 90 minutes of continuous stream. And I'm gonna talk about what I actually found. I actually timed it to see if that was indeed accurate. More on that later. The power cord is a generous 18 feet and it has a 10 foot hose. It is 1500 watts and is up to 58 PSI and it heats the water to over 200 degrees. In the unboxing, I didn't know what this elastic was for, but I was able to look on the website and find pictures that showed that it actually attaches to the back here and it holds the cord in place. But I found that when I was cleaning, this little bungee was a nice place to store different attachments for a quick, easy change out when I'm cleaning. Speaking of attachments, it comes with 20 different attachments and I'm gonna go over each of them with you. So this is the main head of the steam cleaner and it attaches onto four different accessories. The triangular piece, the scraper piece, the top of the mop, and then this piece right here. And this piece is what attaches to all of the smaller attachments. So once you attach this one on, then you can attach to these brushes, the two smaller scrub brushes, your larger scrub brush, this attachment right here, which is really good for grills and stoves and ovens, and this piece, which is a great directional piece to give you concentrated steam in one spot. Back to the triangular piece, I love this piece. Not every steam cleaner comes with this kind of large attachment, but not only that, once you attach the triangular piece, you have an additional attachment that makes this head even bigger. So this is really great if you want to clean even a larger space, showers, counters, any kind of walls, any kind of larger space, this does a good job with that. It also comes with a carrying case, comes with two mop heads, one with longer fibers and one with shorter fibers. And then this attachment which goes onto the mop head. And this actually attaches onto the mop head if you need a little bit better scrubbing action. I am gonna point out that it doesn't come with a squeegee, which some steam cleaners do. You can use squeegees with the steam to clean windows and glass. It doesn't come with that. And the other thing it doesn't come with is the bonnet, which can go over attachments like the triangular piece, which sometimes comes in handy. That being said, you can buy any kind of generic microfiber bonnet and use that. I'm gonna show you these in action in just a minute. Looking at the body of the machine, it weighs just a little over 10 pounds before it's filled with water. It has this dial here to tell me how much pressure there is. And this is also how I know when it is ready to be used. There isn't a ready light that that I'm used to seeing with other machines. Instead, it's ready when the needle is pointing to the green. A cool feature is that there's a steam rate dial. So if I want it to be at full strength, I dial it all the way up. This gives you a pressure of 31 grams per minute. If I want less pressure, I can dial it down to 15 grams per second. But honestly, I always had it turned all the way up because I always wanted the full pressure. As for safety features, if the thermostat were to fail, there is a fuse that will completely cut power to the unit, preventing it from overheating. The boiler cap also has an overpressure device built in so that if the boiler should become overpressurized, it will allow the pressure to release. I always like to know how hot the machine gets. I try not to steam clean when my kids are around, but if one gets close enough, I like to know if the machine is hot enough to burn them. And I'll demonstrate that a little bit later. Now, since I am a mom to four, including a two-year-old toddler, a good deal of the messes that I'm gonna demonstrate with this are real messes left behind by my children for two reasons. Number one, I wanna show you real life scenarios where a steam cleaner really is useful. And number two, my toddler has made some pretty solid messes over the last few days that I seriously need to get cleaned anyways. So let's dive in so you can see this thing in action. Here we go. I have to confess, I was not the first one in my house to try out the McCullough 1375. While I was waiting for it to heat up, I came back to find this. 
after some persuasion, my son finally let me try out the steam cleaner for myself. I started with my kitchen counters and my first thought was how much I loved the bigger triangular piece. Not all steam cleaners come with this type of attachment and it made tackling larger spaces, like my counters, a much quicker job. I love how steam cleaning in general can make your counter so incredibly clean. Yeah, this clean. Then I moved to the floor. The smaller attachment is great for grout lines. I have a large kitchen, which means a lot of tile, and I'm constantly battling to get it clean. Steam is one of my favorite tactics, which brings me to another important feature on this machine, the length of the mop handle. I don't like to hunch over while I'm mopping. That really hurts my back and my neck. So having a mop handle that is long enough that I can stand up straight makes a big difference for me. I'm five foot eight, and as you can see here, I stand up straight and still can operate the Makola without bending over. However, if I were fantastically taller, I might have to hunch over just a little to get the mopping jobs done. It comes with two pieces that attach together to form a pole. Now, if I were six foot five, I'd be wishing that there was one more pole to attach it to to give it some extra length. But as it is, mopping for me was an easy task. The mop head itself is lightweight. The main head of this piece is plastic and it's lightweight, but it feels durable. It comes with two mop pads, one with shorter fibers and one with a little longer fibers. I appreciate having more than one mop pad because I do change it out when it gets dirty and two pads let me cover more of my floor before having to stop and wash them. One thing that I knew right away when I bought this was I was definitely gonna want more of these smaller attachments. Personally, being the germaphobe that I am, I don't like to mix my attachments. I like to use each attachment head for certain things. For example, I like to have one that I'll use only on my floors and I have another one that I use only on things that are a little bit cleaner, like my baby's toys or my counters. These aren't hard, fast rules. If I'm cleaning my grout and my baseboards are dirty, then I'll move up and clean my baseboards. Then if I see a spot on my wall, I'll go ahead and move up and clean the spot on my wall. That's part of the beauty of cleaning with steam. But if I'm reaching for an attachment, I just won't grab an attachment labeled for greasy jobs to say, clean my baby's favorite toys. The metallic bristles are a really great attachment if you wanna do the racks for your stove and they're also really great on the grill. This attachment right here is really great for scraping. The steam comes out right here, and then you have this scraper that you can use to clean with. So three weeks ago, my two-year-old toddler received bathtub crayons for Christmas. He absolutely loves them. My best friend. But still, I have to wonder to myself, does Santa Claus have kids? Because if he did, I don't think that he would give out presents like this. Just saying. So let's see how the steam cleaner will tackle this job. I've actually put a cloth on top of the triangular shape right here, just to see if it will wipe off the mess as I clean it. This part is really thick. Well, thanks to the McCola steam cleaner, that made really quick work of that big, huge mess. So I'd have to say, Santa Claus, you're forgiven. Here I'm gonna demonstrate the triangular piece again. It clips on to the main head. Make sure that you hear it click. Then I'm gonna add it to this attachment here to make the head even bigger. Let's go.
I want to spend a minute to point out a feature that I absolutely love on this, and this is a lock button here. So right here is this button, and once you press the main trigger down, while you're holding it, if you push this button in, it will lock the steam on. So what that means is, when you are cleaning, you don't have to have your finger holding the trigger the entire time. And I will tell you, if you have to do that, your hand and your finger are gonna get really tired, especially on long cleaning jobs. So this locking mechanism right here is a must for me. So I'm really glad that it has this. So let me demonstrate it. and then that's how you turn it off. So I love that feature so, so much, so I'm glad it's on here. On that same note, if you push that yellow button in when you don't have the trigger button down, it is a child safety lock. So now, you can't activate the steam. When you push on the trigger, nothing happens because it's locked off. So that's an important feature as well for safety, especially if you have kids, which I do. So I'm really, really happy that it has that too. So love that, love those two features. One thing I love about a steam cleaner is that instead of pushing messes further into a crack like washing with a cloth does, the steam cleaner blasts dirt and grime out of the cracks and so it takes your cleaning to a whole new level. Here we go. We're going to get this little spot right there. And you can see it's pushing that dirt along with this. Ooh, it's a little hot. Along with the water from the steam out this way so that I can wipe it away. Maybe get right there too. Here I have some dirty baseboards. While I'm here, I'm gonna go up the wall. There's some drip marks from the hand towel we're in our bathroom. I want to point out here how cool this is. This here is a dial that lets you either have more pressure from the steam cleaner or less pressure. So I'm going to show you the difference that it is. So this is with the pressure turned all the way up. And this is all the way down. And then I'm going to slowly turn it up again so to see if we can hear a difference. So honestly, I can't really tell a difference and I had it up to the max the entire time that I used it. The other thing I always like to pay attention to is how hot the machine itself gets. I have young kids and I always like to know if it could potentially burn them. Now I try to steam clean when they're not around, but sometimes they are and if they touch the machine, I wanna know if it's too hot. The tube itself, it's warm, it's not hot. For the machine, it's it's pretty warm. I mean, it doesn't burn me instantly, but I don't want to keep my hand on that too long. It's not as much down there. Mostly just right here at the top. So if my kid were to touch it, I mean, we're not going to go to the hospital with third degree burns. I think it gives them enough time to know that it's hot and pull away before it burns them, so that's always good. I also like that it has a nice place for the head of your steam cleaner to attach to. It just clicks in, that's nice. I didn't point this out at the beginning of the video, but it does have a container that it comes with. It's 16 ounces, and so you have to fill this up three times to reach the max capacity for this canister. So I do like how it has this nice storage for the cord. 
And then this is a place for the handle to just click in. And then I usually just wrap the hose around that. And then this is how I store it. I actually really like that they have a bag to keep all of your accessories and attachments. It really comes in handy to keep everything in one place and then I can just carry that around as I carry the machine around as I'm doing my cleaning. Another thing that I would like to point out is, as with most steam cleaners, they do recommend that you use distilled water. They say that you can use regular water, but the problem is, is that over time, the minerals kind of deposit onto the machine and it builds up and sometimes it can cause the machine to not work as effectively as otherwise would. If you use distilled water, you don't have to worry about a mineral deposit. So for me, I'm gonna continue using distilled water, but it's nice to know that I guess if I were in a pickle, I could still use just regular water. Filling up the canister was so easy. I loved that you didn't need a funnel. The canister itself was like a built-in funnel. Once it's filled, you just replace the cap and turn on the switch. I did time it to see how long it would take for it to fully heat up, and it took about seven minutes for the gauge to just hit the green mark, but it took a full 10 minutes for the gauge to go well into the middle of the green mark. So the product comes with a two-year warranty for the original owner against material and workmanship defects. If there is any manufacturing defects, then McCullough Steam will replace the product at no cost. Two years, I think is pretty standard in the industry. So that wraps up this review of the steam cleaner. I hope that it helped to give you an idea of what the steam cleaner is all about. I actually really liked it. There's a lot of really nice features that I was really pleased with. I feel like it's good quality and I'm excited to have this. I do wanna point out that I did purchase this they did not give this unit to me, and this is not a sponsored video at all. We have a ton of videos all about steam cleaning. We've reviewed some other products as well. I'm gonna put a link to our steam cleaning playlist. Click on that link, and we will see you over there.